good afternoon viewers welcome to another chapter indices and logarithms if you are new here kindly subscribe to our channel press the bell icon so that you won't miss anything to understand clearly what it means by logarithms you need to know what it means by indices indices will not only guide you through the knowledge of logarithm but also it will guide you in everyday arithmetics if we have 2 raised to the power of 3, the 3 here is called the index, while the 2 here is the base. So the number which is always raised onto another number is called index, and indices is just the plural of index. So you need to know laws governing indices in order to know what is indices clearly so the laws of indices are the first law of indices is when you have a number a raised to another number say x and you are asked to multiply that number with another number a raised to the power of y as long as the bases are the same a a you are going to have a raised to the power of this x plus y. This means that if the bases are the same and they are multiplying each other, all you have to do is to add the powers together. And second law says, suppose you have another number a raised to the power of x divided by another number a raised to the power of y. This is the same thing as saying that number a raised to the power of x minus y, x minus y, if you are dividing. This is another law of indices. And another law says if you have a number a raised to the power of 1 over x this is the same thing as they taking the root of that a with an index of x so when x is equal to 2 you need to take the square root of a when x is equal to 3 you need to take the cube root of a and so on another law says if you have a raised to the power of let's say x divided by y and this is the same thing as taking the root of a with an index of y and a power of x or taking the root with an index of y raised to the power of x this and this means the same thing and we have a law says if you have a raised to the power of 0, this is equal to 1. But we need to prove this because these ones are simple to understand. But we need to prove this. We are coming to that. So you need to know all these laws. When you have 2 power 2 multiplied by 2 power 3, this is the same thing as 4 because 2 power 2 is 2 times 2. They multiply by 2 power 3, which is 8. And 4 times 8 is 32. We need to prove it using the first law of indices. It says that if you have 2 power 2 multiplied by 2 power 3, this is the same thing as taking one base, then you add the index together. And this is equal to 2 power 5. And 2 power 5 is equal to 32. Hence, this law is correct. If you have a power x divided by a power y, this is the same thing as saying a raised to the power of x minus y. x minus y. Suppose we have. 3 raised to the power of 
2 divided by 3 raised to the power of 1. For example, this is the same thing as this will give us 9 divided by this is the same thing as 3 and 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Then from this law, if you have 3 power 2 divided by 3 power 1, this is the same thing as taking one base, then you subtract the files, and this is 2 minus 1. And this is equal to 3 raised to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 3. 3 equals 3. Another law says if you have a raised to the power of 1 over x, this is the same thing as taking the root of a with an index of x. So first we have 4 raised to the power of 1 over 2. This is the same thing as saying the root of 4 with an index of 2. And this is the same thing as what? Taking the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. And another one, if you have 8 raised to the power of 2 over 3, this is the same thing as taking root of 8 with an index of uh, 3 raised to the power of 2. And the cube root of 8 is just 2 raised to the power of 2, and this will give us 4. If, if you decide to take the square of 8 first, which is 8 power 2 over 3, which is the cube root of 8 squared, this is the same thing as taking cube root of 8 squared, which is 64. And the cube root of 64 is 4. So either way, you have to get the same answer. When you have 6 multiplied, when you have 6x raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 2x raised to the power of 6, you need to multiply the numbers 6 times 2. Then you need to multiply it with x raised to the power of 2 multiplied by x raised to the power of 6. 6 multiplied by 2 is 12 times 1x 2 plus 6 from the first law of indices. And this is the same thing as 12x raised to the power of 8. Suppose we have 22 n power 6 divided by 11 n power 3 this is the same thing as 22 numbers by numbers letters by letters so we have 22 divided by 11 multiplied by n power 6 divided by n power 3 22 divided by 11 is 2, multiplied by n plus to the power of 6 minus 3 from second law of indices. And this will give us 2n power 3, because 6 minus 3 is 3.